Hi, and welcome back to our Dreamweaver Fundamentals videos. We've been creating this simple contact information form right here. And um, so far we've got all the forms set up. The only thing we need to do now is tell the form what to do when we click the Submit button. Now, in order to process this form, you're going to have to go get some sort of a mail script. The mail script that you download is going to depend upon what kind of server you're hooked up to. Most people are going to have a Linux server, so they're going to use a PHP script. If you're on a Windows server, you're going to need to use an ASP script, and your web host may have a script already set up for you to use with their particular server. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go to this site right here and you can see the name of the site right there it's easy to remember form to email .com. I also placed a link to this on my uh, website and this guy has created a really nice simple to use um, script for processing form data and sending it to an e email address he's got a couple different versions here free and pro definitely check out the pro version it's got a lot of great features he has a couple different ways to license it you can buy a single version of it to use on one website or you can uh, buy a multiple license and use it on unlimited sites and again his uh, charges here are really reasonable for a great script but for right now we're just going to use the free version and that may do everything you want to do um, for it. The main uh, fee you can see all the features of the pro version here. He's got form validation, he's got CAPTCHA support, a um, lot of great things um, in here that you should definitely check out. But you can come right here and download the free version right now. Now when you download the free version you need to place it in the same folder as your contact form. And if I come here to the files section there is that form and you're going to see the name of it form to email dot php right there I'm going to go ahead and highlight the name and copy it you can remember what it is remember it is case sensitive and you can't really change the name of this and now what I need to do is I need to tell this form to use this script whenever anybody clicks the submit button and that's very easy to do but we do need to go into code view for this now you need to come down, scroll down in your page and you're going to find the contact us heading. You're also going to see underneath that there's a form tag and you've got some IDs here and you could name your form whatever you want and give it whatever ID you want. Methods needs to always be there as post. So if you don't have this attribute you need to add it to the line the uh, form line and then we also have the action attribute here and you can see that that's empty and since I copied the name of that file I can just paste this in here and again it is case sensitive and what you're now telling the browser to do is that when you submit the form the action that should occur is whatever is in this script file right here and this script file is going to say take the form information and email it to whatever email address you enter into this script. Don't get confused between the email address here, that's the user's email, and the email address that you're going to send the form to. So I'm going to go ahead, now that I've added that to my action area, I'm going to go ahead and save it and close it. And then I'm going to come back in here to the files section and I'm going to open this form to email. And I'm going to double click on it and you'll see it opens up. It's worth reading through all of this here. But when you scroll on down, eventually you're going to come to line 101 and that's the way you declare a variable in PHP. And you can see it's my email and you're going to highlight the text that is here and you're going to go ahead and type the email address you want the form data to be sent to. And so I'm going to go ahead and do timothytest1 at gmail.com. And I made up 
uh, I made a new fictitious Gmail address here because I don't want um, to use my real email address. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And when you go into design view for your form, you're only going to see this. So you need to be in code view in order to see that. And again, you're looking to enter your um, your email address here on line 101. And there is some optional information that you can put in down here. But the only thing you have to do is add this. So we'll save that. And now, whenever I go ahead and, whoops, whenever I click the Submit button after filling out the form, that script is going to send all that form data to your email address. Now, before we can actually test this form, we need to upload it to a server. And so far, we've just been working with the local copies of our file. In the next video, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to set up a remote web server so that we can actually see the way this website will look when it's published. And then we can test this form. So we'll see you in the next video.